Tourism, financial services, and Virgin Islands history are to be introduced into the education system in the new school year. Minister for Education and Culture Myron Walwyn made this announcement during his message to mark the start of the 2012 Education Week, which was celebrated from March 11 to the 16th. According to Minister Walwyn, the areas of tourism, financial services, and Virgin Islands history will make what students learn at schools more relevant to their lives. Beginning in September 2012, financial services and tourism will be taught in our secondary schools to help students understand the economic importance of these industries to our territory. We anticipate that this will also allow our students to identify careers and opportunities in these sectors. Virgin Islands history will also be taught beginning in September to help all of our students understand the history and expansion of our country, as well as to help them connect with the legacy of the many great Virgin Islanders that have contributed to the progress of our islands. As we seek to make education in the Virgin Islands relevant to the lives of our children, we will be holding discussions with the private school administrators to facilitate the incorporation of financial services, tourism and Virgin Islands history as well in their learning programs. Speaking about the territory's technical vocational institution, the minister says emphasis will be placed on developing the school into a place where those who desire to learn a skill can do so at a high level. The minister said that this will involve changing how the community perceives technical and vocational education. Work is in progress to re-establish a technical and vocational school at Bogus Bay to provide an equivalent level of education for students wishing to pursue technical and vocational training. Great emphasis will be placed on this to turn this institution into a model learning environment, providing our students with advanced technical and vocational training, incorporating the latest trends, technologies, and teaching resources. I see this school as an excellent opportunity to engage our students that are technically minded and help them find opportunities for personal and professional advancement. In addition, the Education Minister said that a physical assessment of the territory schools is ongoing with a view to improving the environment in which students work and learn. He said a national library will also be set up to create an atmosphere for learning. My continuous tours of our public schools have also showed me that we must address the urgent need of the physical infrastructure of our schools. Trying to learn in hot, outdated and sometimes dilapidated classrooms cannot be fun. Our campuses must also, too, inspire excellence in our students. Presently, a physical assessment of our schools is ongoing with a view to implement a rehabilitation and maintenance plans for schools. As we create a culture of excellence, we also need a national library that promotes an atmosphere of learning, one that is aesthetically pleasing and that is accessible to all residents. Minister Walwyn said attention is also being paid to those who are differently abled as education must be all-inclusive, embracing the learning needs of all the Territory's children. Special mention was also made of the Territory's teachers, as the Minister said a culture of excellence in education cannot be accomplished without the teachers' hard work and support.